Father will bless you. Rekabo su shataya usu turiani ushakari kabusu. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Just one second, we'll be live. Yes, Hello, we are bless. live on YouTube now. Glory be to God. If you can still hear me, please do let me know. Someone unmute yourself if you can still hear me. Hallelujah. We, we can, can hear you. We can hear you. Oh, we can hear you. Thank you. Happy New Month, everyone. Hallelujah. Happy New Year. Uh, Happy New Year. Happy, Happy New Month. month. Happy New Month, pray mom. I'm going to bring um Pastor Gifty to the spotlight. Um, Pastor Gifty Adokisi, I'm trying to look for you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Lady Gifty, if you're there, please let us know you're there. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Happy New Month, everyone. Happy New Month, everyone. Keep typing, keep typing. And let's know where you're connecting from as well. Hallelujah. I'm connecting from Kent, United Kingdom. Let's know where you're connecting from. Whilst we wait for Lady Gifty Adokisi to start out with start us with an opening prayer hello happy new month over to you hello everyone happy new month to everyone we thank god for the opportunity to gather this evening in his presence we are so thankful to god we've gathered here to pray for our sons and so we are going to pray for them Let's begin to lift up our voices and begin to thank the Lord. Let's just appreciate the Lord for this evening. Let's thank the let's thank God for the lives of the conveners, those who made it possible for this evening for us to gather together here this evening. Let's begin to thank God for their lives, Pete. We thank God for your life. Apostle, we thank God for your life. All the invite, the, the guest speakers, we thank God for your lives. We thank God for this evening. We appreciate the Lord for this evening. We are so much grateful for this evening. And this evening, we are pray committing this evening's meeting into the hands of the Lord, that the Holy Spirit himself will take control. Every activity that will take place on this platform will be under the influence of the Holy Spirit. Our first time, our sons will not remain the same after this meeting. Lift up your voice and begin to thank the Lord in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. We give all the praise, O oh God. We give you all the honor. Mazi kato anderebe kabayan doro boyande. Unto you have we gathered this evening, O oh God. Under your feet have we gathered. We are raising prayers for our sons this evening, and we pray and we invite you in, your, in our midst this evening. Take control, O oh God. Take control. Take control. Influence every activity that will take place here at the prayer time. The men of God we have selected to lead us this evening. We pray and commit them into your hands. Oh God, that they will speak from the throne of grace. They will not speak their mind, but they will speak under the influence of the Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus. Mayandolo bozimi andarabaya, ijendi andoro bo kabato anderebe ande, ijendi andaraba be kabato anderebe ya. This evening's program is prophetic because we have responsibility to pray for our sons. Proverbs ten verse one says, "A wise son makes a father glad, but a foolish son refuses and bring grief to the mother." So we are praying that our children will be wise. Even as we have gathered this evening on this platform and our children, our sons will bring us will bring us gladness. Our sons will bring us happiness. Our sons will be wise in the name of Jesus. Lift up your voice and begin to pray and commit the speakers into the hands of the Lord that God will use them powerfully this evening. God will use them to bring revelation concerning our, our sons in the name of Jesus. God will use them to give us revelation, insight concerning our sons in the name of Jesus. Mazikato and Mayandolo bozimia kabatu andiribi. Ayandolo bozimia andarababe kabatu andarabaya. 
Mazika to andiri bikaba yandoro boyande. Mazaka to andiri bikaba to andarabaya. Iyendere bezimia kaba to andere beyande. Our sons will never remain the same again after tonight's program. In the name of Jesus, they will be wise sons. They will be wise sons pleasing unto their parents. In the name of Jesus, they will bring happiness and gladness, gladness to their parents. In the name of Jesus, Mazika to andere beya. Father, take control over the atmosphere. Take control over the platform of God. Mazika to andere be kabato andere beya. Ayando lo bozim yanda rabay andere be. Unto you have we gathered this evening, O God. Unto you have we gathered this evening, O God. We invite you to take absolute control over this evening's program, O God. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray committing the speakers into your hands. Use them for your glory, O God. Use them for your glory, O God. Use them to bring directives to us concerning our sons, O God. In the name of Jesus. Mazika to anderebe, I pray committing Reverend David into your hands. I pray committing Apostle into your hands. I pray committing PT into your hands. It is not by mistake that we have gathered today on those platform. It is you who have scheduled it and it is you who has made it possible. You have chosen this day to be a day that our sons will never remain the same. In the name of Jesus. Mazuka to Andiribia. Makaba to Andiribia. Kaba to Andiribia. Mayandolobo simia kaba to Andiribia. Ayandolobo kiandolobo simia kaba to Andiribia. Mayandiribia. We pray committee every praying mom that is gathered on this platform. Oh God, even as your word comes, oh God, uh, I pray that their spirit man will be receptive to your word, oh God. Their spirit man, oh God, will receive from you, oh God, uh, revelations and insights, oh God, uh, directions, oh God, uh, understanding in parenting, oh God, uh, in the name of Jesus, oh God. Mazika to Anderebea. Prepare our hearts, oh God. Let our hearts be a fertile ground, oh God. Even as your word drops in our hearts, oh God, they will yield fruit in hundred folds. In the name of Jesus. After this program, oh God, every praying man will testify, oh God. This day will be a memorable day. This day will be a day of testimonies, a day of miracle, a day of transformation in our sons of God, uh, in the light of our sons of God, in the name of Jesus, Makabato, Makabato, it is written in heaven that this day is bringing a transformation, so shall it be, we declare a God miracles, we declare testimonies for our life, the light of our sons of God, uh, we declare a God, a God, that they will build an intimacy with you, in the name of Jesus, uh, our sons will be the chosen one of God will be pleasing unto you. Our sons' lives will be pleasing unto you. Our sons of God will bring glory unto you. Our sons of God will live to please you, O oh God. Our sons of God will desire to live in the house of the Lord. Father, we thank you. We give you all the praise. We give you all the honor, O oh God. Unto you have we raised those prayers. And we believe, oh God, that every word that will be lifted on this platform will be a sweet fragrance unto you. And it will be acceptable unto your throne. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank because you. we are prayer and you, God. In Jesus' name, we pray with thanksgiving. Amen. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Thank you so amen. much. Amen. 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 That amen. was powerful. Hallelujah. Thank amen. God for that open prayer. Hallelujah. You're amen. welcome, everyone. You're welcome. You're welcome. For those that have just joined us, it's happy new month to you. You're welcome. You want to know, know you want us to know where you are connecting from. I'm connecting from Chatham, Kent, United Kingdom. Type in the chat group, let us know where are you connecting from today. Hallelujah. Good evening, good afternoon, good morning. Maryland, United States of America. You're welcome, Pray Mom Abby. 
God bless you. Keep typing, keep typing. Where are you connecting from? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Edmonton, Canada, you're welcome. Pray mom in Kiru, you're welcome. Atlanta, Lester, you're welcome. Pray mom Kemi, God bless you. Keep typing, keep typing. Where are you connecting from? What part of the world are you connecting from? Keep typing, keep typing. Rochester, London, hallelujah. Marseille, Kelly and the Congo, hallelujah. God bless you. Keep typing, keep typing. Norwich, Birmingham, UK, hallelujah. Let us know where are you connecting from today, hallelujah. And happy new month, Heart for sure, hallelujah. Ogun State, Lagos, Nigeria, keep typing. Where are you connecting from? You're welcome, you're welcome, you're welcome. And happy new month to everyone. Tonight's meeting has been themed Outstanding Sons. Outstanding Sons. I tell you, it's going to be an amazing time. We're going to have amazing time in God's presence tonight. I believe God for the supernatural power. And I believe that our sons, our sons-in-law, our future sons-in-law, for those of you that your children aren't married, my aunt's married, and I'm praying, I'm going to be praying for my future son-in-law today. Our future sons-in-law, our sons, our, our nephews, we're going to be lifting them all before God this evening. And we be, and I believe that their lives can never remain the same after tonight's meeting in the precious name of Jesus. So let someone know that we are now live on Zoom. They can connect us on Zoom. Hallelujah. God bless you. I'm going to welcome um, Dolapo to please share with us the vision video it's a five minutes video hallelujah I'm, I'm gonna try and give you an access dolapo um so that you can share please let us know if you can share hallelujah over to you dolapo hallelujah amen and amen where are you connecting from you can still keep typing whilst we're waiting for the video to be shared keep typing keep typing keep typing hallelujah keep typing Recabo social to you can do Kaliande. Keep typing, keep typing. Glory be to God. Keep typing whilst we are waiting for the video to be shared and keep sending someone a reminder. There are 83 of us online at the moment. We can have more people because we are going to pray for our son. A son is a nation. We're going to pray for our son. Sons are very important. Hallelujah. Let's listen to the video. Glory be to God. Over to you, Dolako. Hi, my name is Tayo Ulumake, formerly called PT, and I'm the founder of the Pray Mom with PT. The Pray Mom with PT is an arm of prayer and liberation ministries. And the Pray Mom with PT was birthed from the desire to help a mom to pray for her children. God gave me the inspiration using the alphabet developing prayer topic through the help of the Holy Spirit and praying for our children using the word of God. For instance, the Holy Spirit could say, hey, pray against the spirit of anxiety in the lives of your children. It could be B, pray for boldness. It could be P, the Holy Spirit could say, pray against the spirit of pornography in the lives of your children. So as the Holy Spirit gives the inspiration, I develop the prayer points and will pray using the word of God. The vision is to encourage moms to pray for their children using the word of God and praying for every area of their children's lives. And also letting moms know that there is nothing too big or too small to pray about. The word of God says in the book of Lamentations chapter 2 verse 19, the word of God says, Arise, cry out in the night as the washes of the night begins. Bible says, pour out your heart like water in the presence of the Lord. He says, lift up your hands to him for the lives of your children. This is what we do at the Pray More with PT. We lift up our hands concerning our children and we pray for our children. The word of God also says in the book of Psalm 127 verse 4, it says like arrows in the hands of, of a warrior are children born of one's youth. The Bible says, blessed is the man whose quiver is full of them. The Bible says they will not be put to shame when they contend with their opponent in court. So like arrows, your children are what you make them. Your prayers are to shaken your children. The destinies of your children are built 
meetings in the place of prayer. The Pray More with PT currently have WhatsApp group. We have different WhatsApp group. And on the WhatsApp group, I post the, the daily podcast. The podcast is 10 to 15 minutes prayer. Prayers praying for your children using the alphabet. So I post those podcasts in, in that in that group. And in, the, in our groups, we have people of different nationalities. We have people from the United States, people from UK, people from Nigeria, people from Ghana, people from Zambia, people from Australia. We have Italians on the group. We have people from different nationalities. And you know what? A common goal is to pray for our children. We all gather and we pray for our children. As I've been the founder of the Pray Mom with PT, I'm also the founder of Art Pet Support and Empowerment Foundation, a charity organization that helps the less privileged in Africa. So the Bible says in the book of First Timothy, chapter 6, verse 18, instruct them to do good, to be rich in good works, and to be generous and ready to share. If you want to support that vision, you are welcome to please support. You can you can contact us on the email that is displayed on your screen. The Pray Mom with PT's podcast is currently on Spreaker. We are on Google Podcast. We are on Spotify. We are on YouTube, and our YouTube channel is I Pam Ministry. You can subscribe to our YouTube channel to be able to get the podcast daily and on speakers spotify and google podcast google, google podcast is on the handle tayo olumaki you can join other moms we all gather first day of every month we gather first day of every month on zoom and we pray for our children so you can join us first day of every month 7 30 p.m uk time for more information, please email us. The email is dpmom at iprayerandliberation.site. Alternatively, a Gmail account, dpraymom at gmail.com. This will be displayed on your screen. The Pray Mom with PT, building the destinies of your children in the place of prayer. God bless you. Bye for now. Hallelujah. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, um, Dolako, for sharing that. Um, we're going to have a time of praise and worship, and I'm going to bring to the spotlight one of the pray moms in the worship team, pray mom Banke. Um, I'm going to add you to the spotlight. Hallelujah. Pray mom Banke, over to you. God bless you. Over to you. Your mute. Praise. Yeah, we can hear you now. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the living Jesus. Hallelujah. Let's celebrate Jesus because He is our Alpha. He is our Omega. If you are grateful to be here tonight, if you are grateful, let's bless the name of the Lord, the God of of our help, our wonderful Jesus. Let's appreciate Him. That wonderful name, Jesus. That wonderful name, Jesus. That wonderful name. Jesus, there is no other God I know. That wonderful name, Jesus. That wonderful name, Jesus. That wonderful name, Jesus. 
There is no other God I know. Oh, believe, servant, above heart and love, we let our crown and worship your oh, belief side above our name. We let our crown and worship your oh, glorious God. We praise your name. We let our crown and worship your oh, glorious God. We praise your name. We Above our goal, we let our crown and worship God. Oh, glorious God, we praise your name. We lay our crown. And worship oh, Hallelujah. That's what my songs will be. That's what my song will be. That's what my song will be. Shout hallelujah, hallelujah. That's what my song will be. That's what my song will be. That's what my song will be. Hallelujah, hallelujah. That's what my song will be. That's what my song will be. That's what my song will be. I never see any girl like you. I never see any girl like you. I never see, I never see any girl like you. 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 I never see, see any girl like you. I never see any girl like you. I never see any girl like you. I never see any girl like we never see, we never see any girl like you. We never see any girl like you. Oh, is a nebuni language. Is a nebuni language. Is a nebuni language. Isa nebuni, alleluia, oh, isa nebuni, sangue. Isa nebuni, alleluia, oh, isa nebuni, langue. Isa nebuni, alleluia, oh, ebuni, langue. Isa nebuni.
is the Alpha and Omega. Lord, we bless you tonight. We worship you, Lord. We lift you above everything, O God. We thank you, Father. To you, O God, we worship tonight. We have come as parents, O God, to worship you. On behalf of our sons, we thank you. We glorify you. Be exalted. Thank you, Lord. We bless your name. Thank you, Lord. Jesus, my we worship. Father, we bless you. We worship you, Lord, in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Awesome worship. Awesome worship. More grace on upon you. Pray, Mon Banke, in the name of Jesus. More strength in the name of Jesus. Pray, Mon Banke is one of the pray moms, and she has connected from Nigeria to be a blessing to us. God will bless you. God will honor your faith in the precious name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Tonight. The theme of our meeting, like I said earlier on, is outstanding sons. There are 108 of us. Let other people know that we are connecting, that we are, con that we are live on Zoom so that they can connect. I'm going to do a little bit of swap because the um, um, Tayo Kayode, who is meant to, to, um, to minister after the testimony as a lecture, and we know how important it is for our sons if they have lecture. Semi Kayode, I'm going to add that to the spotlight. This is my beloved son. Hallelujah. Her mom is my friend. I'm trying to look for him to add him to the spotlight. Amen. Hallelujah. Pastor Bumi Away, if you can see him, please help me add him to the spotlight. Hallelujah. Temi, if your camera is on, hallelujah. Amen. I'm going to read Temi's bio. Temi is a minister of God. Hallelujah. Temi Tayo, also known as Temi Sax, is a 17-year-old saxophonist and began to learn to play the talking drum at four. His interest in musical instruments increased when he was six, when he found attraction in saxophone. At a, young, at a younger age, Temi was the winner of God's Children's Great Talent, season five in the seven to nine age. Category competition aired in Echo Hotel, Lagos, Nigeria. The competition featured about 3,000 competitors from United States, United Kingdom, Canada, and Nigeria. Temi is a guest minister at the I was a guest minister at the birthday ceremony of Pastor Mrs. Folu Adeboye Mommy G.O. at the Redeemed Church of God. He, he was also performed at musical concerts featuring music icon like King Sonia Day, and just to mention a few, and Natalie Bassey. Temi Tayo is from a family of five. He is a student at the university and ministers across the globe. I tell you what, I, 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 I mean, I've known Temi for a while through his mom and through his aunt, but for the first time when I traveled two weeks ago to Boston, I was there when he ministered. And the Holy Spirit said, you need to bring this boy to the praying mom with pity. Tell me you're welcome. Unmute yourself. You're welcome, son. God bless you. Go ahead. The stage is yours. God bless you. We can't hear you. We can't hear the sax. Maybe you are muted. Can anybody hear him or is it just me? No. Yeah, it's, it's not audible. We can't hear um, you, um, Temi. No. Mm. 
You can't hear. Can you maybe you want to share the sound? Yeah. I think we've lost yeah. him. Okay, he's going to connect um back soon. Um, did I make him a co-host? I did earlier. Yes. Yes. Okay, he's connecting again. Please bear with us. <laughs> If you are if you are not muted, please mute yourself. Other people apart from Timmy, please. Thank you. We still can't hear. The devil is a liar. We still can't hear you, Timmy. You might need to share the sound as someone said earlier on. Mm -hmm. Hello? Can yes, you now. Yes, can we can. Can you speak? Yes. It's I think that's much audio. better. Much better. He's speaking up. Much better. Okay. I think your sound is low. Check your volume. When you're talking as well, it's a bit low. Um... Okay. We'll just send number as a Christian. We don't need what we can do in front. Yes. Okay. Okay, we can't hear. Is it just me, Pastor Bonnie? We can't hear him, can we? Timmy, you're muted. Or maybe, yes, like someone said, you, do you want to put the sax next next to the speaker? Like the sax is directly under the speaker, too. So. Is that that's, better? That's better. Yeah, oh, yeah that's better. better. Yeah. Okay, 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 okay. Don't stop. Just carry on. We'll tell you if it's not working. Just carry on. All right. The volume is still low. Yeah, it's still low. Mo try and move it up a bit. Okay. Um, Sammy, we can't we can't hear. We can't hear. <laughs> or may or maybe if you can do a video, can you do a video and send it to you, PT? Uh, we can't we can't hear. Oh, okay, it's coming up. It was coming up just a minute ago. Yeah, the previous position that you were in were bet was better, yeah. But it's also quite difficult to do live music on... Um, can people maybe switch off? I think we're going to, it's a shame, but we're going to re, have to release Temi because we can't hear him. <laughs> and he did ask if, if I wanted a video, but I wanted live. So yeah, Temi, so, so sorry we can't hear you. Mm. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Yeah, we're going to have you back probably with a video. Thank you so much, son. God bless you. God bless you. Thank you. God bless you. God okay. bless you. We appreciate you. I have claps. 
in people clapping for you in the chat group we appreciate you son god bless you god continue to give you wisdom increase you open doors for you your gifts will bring you before great kings in the name of jesus god bless you god bless you son god bless you we've got to release you to go now go to lectures now god bless you bye for now god bless you see you later bye hallelujah amen i'm just trying to bring myself to the spotlight you're ready there pt am i okay hallelujah thank you hallelujah the next thing that we're going to have is the testimony i'm going to add um possible me to the spotlight to please share the testimony with us god bless you over to you man of god thank you so much um Happy new month, praying moms. God bless you all. God increase us all in the name of Jesus. Testimony is always a way to share to others and to tell people that God is still faithful. It's a way of encouraging other people. But most importantly, we're telling the, everyone that all the glory, you know, goes to God. And tonight I have um, praying mom Olani here to share a testimony with us. I'm not sure if everyone has had that testimony. It is a powerful testimony. And I feel that sometimes when we um, convey voices to words, we lose emotions, we lose a bit of touch on those testimonies. So I have spoken to her and she's here tonight. She will be sharing her own testimony. And I believe that everyone here, you know, will be able to on our behalf, give glory to God. Amen. Pray, Mama I've asked you to unmute so you can speak, please. Thank you. Praise God. Hallelujah. Uh, my name is Alanike. Thank you for giving me the opportunity to share again. So it was sometime um, last week. It's been like a journey for me anyway. I joined this um, wonderful group with the invitation of a sister whom we used to attend the same church back in Nigeria. And um, since when I attended, since when I've been joining, it's really improved my prayer life. And um, I've really had the opportunity to pray more and intentionally for my children. So upon doing that, as I was praying, you know, I felt the urge to, you know, be like, be more of living a struggle-free Christian life. Yeah, by this, what I mean is, you know, sometimes when we have this consciousness of, oh, I'm a, I'm a Christian, these are the do's and don'ts, it wants to look as if it's a struggle. But I, I said to God, I want to live like a regular life that will glorify God. I don't want to struggle through anything. And then there was this example that came to my mind that said, um, it's one thing for someone to want to upset you and you are able to control the anger. And it's another thing for you not to be upset at all. I said, God, I don't even want people to have the ability to offend me. I just had that urge, you know, to, to be a better Christian and struggle free. So I kept on with um, the prayers morning and evening, even the one daddy had them set up. I kept joining and then one particular day, I felt this so much heaviness, tiredness, like every part of my body inside and outside. I was so, so tired. I couldn't explain it. Moving from one point to the other was very difficult for me. So I kept on believing God. I, 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 like, I don't know where this thing comes from, but I knew God was there for me. And so one day I came back from work and I just, you know, lie down, lying on my side. And I felt like something just walked out of me, you know, like a personality just bumped out of me like that. And then I opened my eyes. I said, what is this? What is this? What just happened now? I couldn't fathom anything. And I closed my eyes back, you know wanted to continue sleeping and a few minutes later say three four five minutes later something else walked inside of me and then i was there thinking like what's these things that are going out and coming in of me and the the lord said to me and he said don't you know that 
When light comes into you, darkness will disappear. When life enters you, death will leave. When I come, everything that is not of him in your body will leave. And when I got that interpretation, instantly, I used to hear people say instantly, instantly, I re- received the strength. I received my healing. I felt it on the bed that I was lying down. I felt energized. and I, I stood up and I wanted to be sure that I was strong, you know. I stood up and I was just very, very sound. Since that day, up to your date, no weakness whatsoever in my body. And I just want to thank God. I want to appreciate him for the prayer life he has helped me with. I thank him for the healing of my body and my spirit. And I want to thank the organizers of this prayer group. You know, sometimes when we are tired, you know, to get up to want to pray alone, because it is a group, once it's 5 a.m. UK time, you know, I'm up and I am forced to pray. (laughs) Let me put it that way. So it's become a lifestyle. If I don't even pray every morning and evening now, uh, I, I can't sleep. So I really thank God. I appreciate God. I thank the organizers of the group. Thank you. Thank you so much, Brain Mama Lanike. God bless you. Let's just use the chat box to thank God and to give glory to God on our behalf. God is good. The same thing, the same God can still do yours in the name of Jesus. We serve God for who God is. You know, we serve God. Every other benefit that we derive from serving God is extra. We just serve God for who God is. I'm going to read the next testimony. And this is Chloe's mom. And I'm sure we all know Chloe's mom on this platform. Chloe is going to be an evangelist for Christ. Hallelujah. Amen. I am so grateful to God for another healing of little Chloe, my daughter. Last Saturday, she came down with chicken pox and she had it pretty bad. This week has been filled with tears, pain, temperature, lack of sleep and itchy and very uncomfortable skin externally and internally that was driving Chloe insane. She also was suffering with great fear, which meant she refused everything that I tried to soothe her with and became so distressed out of fear, she would kick me away and scream at me. So she had no medicine on her skin to help heal her. She didn't even want a soothing hot bath. So I prayed for her healing and comfort. This is when everything else has failed. We know we pray. So I prayed for her healing and comfort. And last night, I was able to sleep in my bed again as she was brave enough for me to leave the room. Her spots have now finally scraped over. She's no longer on pain relief and her temperature is normal. The itching has improved significantly. She will be returning to school on Monday. God is faithful and so good. And it's lovely to see her healing. Many blessings to you all. Love, Lucy and Chloe. The only thing I'm going to add is don't let us use prayer as a last resort. Prayer should be the first thing that we should do. Hallelujah. Then the last testimony is P, for God's protection. I and a few people were traveling after choir practice. I was eight months pregnant with my three-year-old daughter. And on the point of going on with five other adults in the car, the customer assaulted and we had an accident. It was a great accident, but none of us was scratched. God took care of us. And can I just add as well that the mother now has given birth. And so on behalf of that family, we are just saying thank you, Jesus, for his shield and for his protection over them. Hallelujah. God is good. God is kind at all times. Amen. Back to you, PT. God bless you. And hallelujah. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Pastor Bumi, for sharing the testimony. And we thank God for all the testimonies shared today. We give God all the glory and all the praise. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. We are going straight into tonight's meeting, Outstanding Sons. My first guest is Reverend David Oladipo. Anywhere he is, please help me add him to the spotlight if his camera is on. Reverend David Oladipo is a conference and motivational speaker, leadership develop, development consultant, a pastor, and a Bible teacher for over two decades. He is the founder of Success International Church, currently headquartered at Iba, Lagos, Nigeria. I've been to that church. Hallelujah. 
great people of God there. Hallelujah. The new dawn center and, and church alive currently being established in Victoria Island. His vision is to teach the word of God. Reverend David is a sound teacher of God's word. He teaches with clarity and a prophetic touch. His ministry is followed with testimonies of healing and deliverance, miracles and signs and wonders. He's married to Sarah Olayinka, also a minister of the gospel and a prayer mom. Their marriage is blessed with children and they make their home in Lagos. Please, with Holy Ghost Joyce, let's welcome Reverend David Oladi for to the prayer mom with pity. You're welcome, man of God. It's good to have men in our midst. Before you go on, um, sir, can I also acknowledge the men in our midst because I've invited some dads as well to join us. Please help me put in the chat group that dad, you're welcome. You're welcome, men. We welcome all the men, the great men in our midst. God bless you. Over to you, sir. God bless you. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I hope you can all hear me. Yes, we can. All right. I'm happy to be with the praying moms. When you are with praying moms, you're in good company. Hallelujah. We celebrate you. Thank you, dear Pastor Tayo, my very good friend and sister, who is now a better friend to my wife. Glory be to God. And my dear brother and friend, Apostle Victor Luma King. One of the best things you can do as mothers is to um, use prayer to um, to control the lever. Prayer is like a remote control that you use to make things happen. And we thank God for that. My wife is a praying mom. Uh, let me quickly share this testimony. There was a time many years ago, at the beginning of the year, God spoke to me. He told me there was a particular person, incidentally, the the guy is a pastor, but God said, I don't want you to move with this person again. I don't want you to be friends with this person again. So, you know, I called my wife after praying and I said to her, Sweetheart, guess what? God said I shouldn't be friends with this person again. And she shouted, oh, Father, I thank you. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Oh, thank you, Jesus. And I was like, ah, uh kilo -uh. day. why are you thanking God? Because I said, and she said to me that actually she has been praying that God should separate me from that man. That she just didn't like the guy that, you know, I have good friends, I have great friends, but this particular one, she didn't think that he was a good guy. And that, you know, so he just wanted him out. And she didn't want to tell me because she thought if she told me, I might be like, you know, she, I mean, leave my friend alone. So she went to talk to God. And then God came to talk to me. That's the power of a praying mom and a praying wife. Thank you for the work you are doing. Only eternity will be able to reveal the scope of impact of this great ministry. Pastor Tayo, thank you very much. All the praying moms in the house from Pastor Bumi Awe. I've never met her before, but I know her through the praying mom platform. And of course, her beloved husband, I was privileged to meet about uh, uh, two years ago. Thank you for the work that we are doing around the world. The Lord bless you in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Um, let us pray. Father, we thank you for the opportunity that we have to share your word, to look into the perfect law of liberty. I pray tonight that it will speak through me, think through my mind, and speak through my lips and let your precious people be blessed. Inspire somebody, challenge somebody, correct somebody, instruct somebody, touch everyone. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Hallelujah. Outstanding sons. Of course, we do know that the plan of God for us, the will of God for us is to be outstanding. In everything that we do, we are the light of the world, Jesus said in Matthew chapter 5. He said, you are the light of the world, verse 14. A city that is set on a hill cannot be hidden. So we are the light of the world. If we are the light of the world, then our children cannot be any, any less. 
they are also the light of the world. The, 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 the promise of God to us covers our children. It covers our family. Uh, Paul said to that Philippian jailer in Acts 16, when he asked, what must I do to be saved? Paul said to him, believe in the Lord Jesus Christ and you will be saved, but not just you and your household. In other words, your connection with God, your faith in Christ is going to have effect, not just on you, but also on our household. So it is a plan of God for our children to be outstanding in Psalm 112. The Bible says, blessed is the man that feared the Lord, that delighted greatly in his commandment. Let me just read very quickly. I love, I love, I think, verse 2 of that scripture, Psalm 112. Blessed is the man who fears the Lord, who delights greatly in his commandments. His descendants will be mighty on earth. Hallelujah. He said his descendants. Because as praying moms, as praying dads, fathers who are on the platform tonight, because as children of God, we are people that fear the Lord. We delight in his commandment. Bible says our, the Bible says we are going to be blessed, but the blessing will also you know, affect our children. The Bible says our descendants will be mighty on the earth. Prayer for us tonight is that every one of us in this ministry, on this platform, in this meeting tonight, our descendants will not be Lilliputians. Our descendants will be mighty on the earth. Our descendants will be great on the earth. When they are counting great people, outstanding sons, our descendants will be numbered among them in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. So it's the plan of God, it's the will of God for us to have excellent, outstanding sons. The word outstanding is a word that means excellent. So to have outstanding sons means to have excellent sons. The word outstanding means exceptional. Exceptional. So to have outstanding sons means to have exceptional sons. May your children be exceptional. Hallelujah. I do understand, of course, I know that not everybody has a male child. So we're talking about sons. We, I don't want us to just limit that to the male child. All right? They are, they are, they are, they are, they are, our children, whether male or female, are going to be outstanding. It is the plan of God for them to be excellent. Hallelujah. Well, you know, I, I, I so much appreciate this particular focus, probably the focus on the male child, because we have so many uh, meetings that are focused on the girl child. You know, we teach them, we train them, we raise them up, and sometimes the male child is neglected. Meanwhile, these our daughters are going to marry. They're not going to marry females, all right? They're not going to be a part of the decadence that is in the world. They are going to marry, the, you know, the opposite, the opposite sex to them. That is why it's important for us to not just prepare the girl child for the future, but to also prepare the male child for the great future that God has for them. So to be outstanding means to be excellent. To be outstanding means to be exceptional. May our children be exceptional in the name of Jesus. May our children be exceptional. May they not be lost in the crowd. May they never be lost in the crowd. May they be exceptional in the academics. May they be exceptional in their career. May they be exceptional in their business. May they be exceptional in their ministry. May they be exceptional in the community, in the society. May they be exceptional in, in their marriage and family life. May they be exceptional morally. In the world of moral decadence, may our children be exceptional. May they be exceptional in finances. May they not be people that will be societal problems. Exceptional. To be outstanding means to be exceptional. To be outstanding means to be first class. The word outstanding means first class. Our children are first class children. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. May our children turn out to be outstanding means to be top class. Not just first class, but top class. May we have top class children. In the name of Jesus. To be outstanding means to be stellar. Stellar. May our children be stellar. Now to have children, to have, to have sons or children with this 
attributes is no mean feat. It's a great work. It's, I mean, everybody desires to have outstanding songs, but that is not a, uh, it's not a given. It's not automatic that our children are going to be outstanding. We have our work cut out for us. Of course, part of the work that we have to do as parents is to pray. And we are doing a lot of work in that area already. I salute praying moms already in the house. We have a lot as fathers to learn from you. And I want to encourage you to keep it up. There's no problem that prayer cannot solve. There's no problem. We pray about everything. There's nothing that we don't pray about. We pray about everything. We cry to God about everything. Because God is always eager, always interested, always ready to hear us pray. And so let us not stop praying for our children. But tonight I want to help us to see, apart from prayer, some areas that we need to focus on in order for us to have outstanding sons. Hallelujah. Remember, the book of Daniel, which is where we, where this program, you know, is taken from, the context, the Bible says in Daniel chapter 1 verse 4, young men in whom there's no blemish, young men in whom there was no blemish, were good looking, gifted in all wisdom, possessing knowledge and quick to understand who had ability to serve in the king's palace and whom they might teach the language and literature of the Chaldeans. Hallelujah. An average young man in today's world does not possess all of his qualities. To be outstanding means to possess all the qualities highlighted here. The Bible says they were good looking. There was no blemish. Actually, this is, this is talking about physical appearance. The Old Testament plays a lot of emphasis on, you know, physical appearance. In other words, they didn't have one bad eye. That was a blemish. You know, for example, if you, the, the, you, the, uh, if you had some physical blemish under the Old Covenant, or you had some physical handicap, you were not allowed to, you had a limitation to your service of God. All right? You were not allowed to approach God because the Old Testament is concerned. Thank God for Christ. All of those things are irrelevant now. We are all kings and priests, and we all have equal access to God. So the Bible here talks about young men in whom there was no blemish, but good looking. Hallelujah. Today, that is where it ends for many people. They're just good looking. Apart from that, you know, they don't have wisdom. You see so much foolishness. Your, chi your, your children will not be foolish in the mighty name of Jesus. You will not have foolish sons. You will not have foolish children. The Bible says they were good looking. But not only that, they were gifted in all wisdom. I pray for a fresh rain of wisdom upon our sons. I pray for a fresh rain of wisdom upon our daughters. In the mighty name of Jesus. Possessing knowledge. They were not just good looking. They were not just, they were not just like you, like they say, I don't know whether they say that in the UK, but in Nigeria where I live. They call some people slay queens. All they just want to do is focus on their physical appearance, focus on their beauty. But when you ask them questions, oh my God, they are such dummies. They, they don't know jack. Our children will not be like that. The Bible says possessing knowledge, gifted in all wisdom, possessing knowledge, quick to understand. Hallelujah. Quick to understand. This will be the testimony of our children, whether sons or daughters, in the name of Jesus. And they had the ability to serve in the king's palace. You know, it's easy to serve in many places, but in the king's palace, there are protocols, there are etiquettes. Not everybody can stand before kings. The Bible says they had the ability to stand in the king's palace. The Bible says, do you see a man diligent in his business? He will stand before kings not before mean men. So the plan of God is for our children to be so exceptional, to be so outstanding, that they serve, they stand before kings. They stand before kings. In the name that is above every other name. Our children are not just going to stand before mean men, ordinary men, but they are going to stand before kings. They are going to be exceptional in their business, in their career. They are going to be exceptional in their academics. 
they are going to be exceptional in whatever it is that God has called them to. Hallelujah. The Bible says children who had the ability to serve in the king's palace and whom they might teach the language and literature of the Chaldeans. This is talking about adaptability. Even though they are not Chaldeans, these guys were Hebrews. But you see, they can adapt. Adaptability. One of the qualities of being outstanding is to be able to adapt. Being, you know, you find yourself in, 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 in a place that you are not very familiar with, different culture, different way of life, different lifestyle, different way of doing things, and you adapt. Adaptability. These are qualities and characters of outstanding sons. And I pray in the name of Jesus, our children will not be lacking in these areas, in the precious name of Jesus. Now, let me emphasize to us one of the areas that we have to work to, you know, as we endeavor to raise outstanding sons. One of the areas that we have to pay attention to. Hallelujah. If our children are going to develop these qualities that I've mentioned, let me go through those qualities again without blemish. So we can, we can extend the blemish here because we're in New Testament days to, you know, spiritual. You know, because we are the righteousness of God in Christ, there's no blemish. Hallelujah. When God looks at us, he does not see us. He sees Jesus Christ. Because God made him who knew no sin. 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 21, to be seen for us so that we can become the righteousness of God. In the name of Jesus, our children will be without blemish in the sight of God. Not just in the sight of man, but in the sight of God. All right? But not only that, good looking. Good looking. Gifted in wisdom. Wise sons. Wise daughters. Possessing knowledge. Hallelujah. Knowledgeable children. Children who know what is happening around them, around the world who know what to do. They are not confused because the wisdom of God is at work in them. Quick to understand. It's easy for them to learn. They learn very fast. And then who have the ability to serve in the king's palace? Outstanding. They can serve in the king's palace. They, they, they do not find themselves before the king and they are genuflecting. They are confused. They are, they, are, they are mesmerized. No. They do not, you know, lose their composure even as they stand before kings. Ability to serve in the king's palace and then adaptability, whom they might teach the language and literature of the Chaldeans. Adaptability. They can, they can, they are easily, it's easy for them to adapt. For example, the world is going through turbulence economically. In my country where I live, Nigeria, for example, so much inflation, you know, people's purchasing power has been grossly eroded. And so you find that many families are struggling to make ends meet. And one of the things that you need to be able to do in times like this is adaptability. Being able to look for alternatives. If we cannot afford this, then what can we, what, what is the alternative? And you're able to adapt without complaining. Your children can adapt. There's no murmuring. Hallelujah. It's at whom we might teach the language and literature of the Chaldeans. These qualities are very, very important. But there's one more quality that I want to add to it tonight. And I want to encourage us to take note of it. If our children are going to have these qualities, if they are going to become outstanding, there's something that we must teach them and that we must make them to be. And that is that they must, we must teach them responsibility. They must be responsible. Sonship is responsibility. Sonship is responsibility. Sonship is responsibility. Sonship is not just a gender issue. Sonship is not just an age issue. Sonship is responsibility. There's a difference between a child and a son. And it's not about age, but about attitude. In Isaiah chapter 9, verse 6, the Bible tries to help us understand and see the difference. Unto us a child is born. Unto us a son is given. Unto us a child is born. Unto us a son is given. Children are born. Sons are given. You know, you give birth to children. 
All right? They may be male children, but they, but they are not sons yet until they understand what responsibility is. Responsibility is what turns a child, a male child, into a son. Responsibility is what makes, you know, a male child to become a son. The Bible says, unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given. Sons are gifts. Children are responsibility. When you give birth to a child, work has started for you. You will work. You will not sleep at the time you want to sleep. You will not wake up at the time you want to wake up. You will not eat what you want to eat sometimes. You are not yourself. You don't have control. Children control your schedule. Children control your budget. Children control your life. They take over everything. When you give birth to a child, it is, it is work that you have entered into. A lot of work. You do laundry every time. You clean the house every time. You know, when you have children in the house, you don't just say, I've cleaned today, I'm not going to clean again until tomorrow. You keep cleaning. Because they're going to play. Because they're going to be very, very free. The Bible says, unto us a child is born. But unto us a son is given. A son is a gift. So I'm, I pray that your children, your son, your daughter, are going to be gifts to you. They are not just going, yes, we accept responsibility. We receive our sons. We receive our children as our responsibility. We do not try to pass responsibility for the upbringing of our children to somebody else. We accept responsibility. But you see what joy it is when you see your children grow and they themselves accept responsibility. That is when they become gifts to you. Every child, every parent looks forward to the point, to the time that their children will become gifts, they become assets. They start as responsibility, but they end up being assets. In the name of Jesus, your children will not be a burden to you. In the mighty name of Jesus. Unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given. The government will be on his shoulder. Hallelujah. You don't put government on the shoulder of children. You put government on the shoulder of sons. The Bible says the government will be on his shoulder. And his name will be called Wonderful. Outstanding sons are wonderful. Counselor. Mighty God. Everlasting Father. Prince of Peace. Of the increase of his government and peace, there will be no end. This is what, you, you, this is what our sons are going to achieve. This is what you know, our sons are going to become. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. So there's a difference between a child and a son. Sonship is responsibility. A son is a child who is responsible. You'll agree with me that responsibility is not something that is automatic. People don't automatically take responsibility. We must groom our children to be responsible. Responsible for their academics. Responsible for their, for their lives. They must, I mean, we cannot continue to bear responsibility for them. There's an age of accountability. There's a time they get, there's an age they get to where they must begin to be accountable for themselves. In Jeremiah chapter 49, because there's a great problem when this does not happen. In the book of Jeremiah chapter 49 verse 1, the Bible says, Has Israel no sons? Has he no heir? Why then does Milcom inherit God? Strangers will inherit what our sons are supposed to inherit when they do not, or if they do not take their place, that will not be your portion and my portion in the name of Jesus. Had Israel no sons? Has he no heir? Why then does Milcom inherit God and his people dwell in his cities? How come God? God was one of the tribes in Israel. But you see, the sons of God were, were not responsible. They did not take responsibility for their city. And so strangers came and were taking over the place because their sons were irresponsible. We have to fight against irresponsibility in our sons. Hallelujah. So that they can become outstanding. So that they can be the blessing that God created them to be for us. You know, the joy that we have when we have children, 
that joy, you know, can be caught, can be tampered with. When we see those children come of age and they are not responsible, you are no longer as happy as you were when they first came. That is why we must help our sons to become responsible. If they will be outstanding in life, responsibility is the price of greatness. When Jeremiah asked, had Israel no sons? That question was, he was focusing on the ills of sons not taking responsibility. Responsibility not just for themselves, but for their family. Responsibility. We must help our sons to become responsible. We're not talking about perfect sons. As parents, we are not perfect. So we are not expecting to have perfect sons. We are talking about responsible sons. Responsible sons. Let me do another reading. In 1 Corinthians chapter 13, verse 11. Apostle Paul wrote in 1 Corinthians chapter 13, verse 11. He said, when I was a child, I spoke as a child. I understood as a child. I thought as a child. But when I became a man, I put away childish things. In other words, I accepted responsibility. I pray for you. Your sons will not be irresponsible. You will not have irresponsible children. You will not have irresponsible sons. You will not have irresponsible daughters. In the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Now, what are the differences between a child and a son? Let me quickly help us to contrast between sons and children so that we can focus on these things as we help them. Of course, some of our some of us, our sons are adults already, but some of us, our sons are still, you know, children. They are still pliable. But you see, even for those who are adults, we will not stop believing God for them. We have done our best as parents. We will not stop believing God. That's why we are praying moms and dads. We will not stop praying for them, knowing that God answers prayer. Hallelujah. Let me quickly give us a few points. And then I think my time is um, gradually, gradually going. I just want to check again to know how much time I have left. Glory be to God. Okay, maybe I just have about 10 minutes or so left. Now, so I didn't get that. No, that was it for you. Go ahead. Go ahead, please, Reverend. Okay, okay. Thank you. Thank you very much. What is the difference between children and sons? Remember that children are born, but sons are made. When a child becomes a son, it becomes a gift. In the beginning, children are responsibility. They give you work to do. But at the end, when they grow, as they become mature, they, they work for you. Ah, may your sons work for you. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Number one, children are usually more interested in what their parents can do for them. While sons are usually more interested in what they can do for their parents. You know, children are usually, it's about them. An average child is selfish. Children have a tendency for selfishness. There's a tendency that children are selfish. They think about themselves. I mean, if you have a baby, that baby doesn't care whether you want to sleep or not. That baby wants, a baby can wake up at 1 a.m. and that's the end of your sleep. Maybe you just began to sleep, but the baby's awake. And then once you are, once the baby is awake, the baby just wants your time. But you know, as your, as that same baby grows and becomes mature, the baby realizes that mommy needs to rest. Mommy, you need to rest. Please go and sleep. I will take care of things. So children are usually more interested in what their parents can do for them. While sons are usually more interested in what they can do for their parents. We must hold our son's children responsible to not just focus on what we can do for them. They must also be gifts to us. One of the things I've taught my children to do is to give me gifts. So once in a while, they just come to me. Daddy, I have this money for you. I mean, my children do that. I have this, I want to give you this money. And they will give me, and sometimes I check the envelope, it's 500 naira. And I say, God bless, that's good. Yes, that's good, that's good. All right, because I give to them all the time. But once in a while, I tell them it's your duty. Learn, learn to give to your parents too. If they grow up like that, then they, I mean, 
It's one of the things that we should. Number two, children can hardly do anything for themselves or by themselves, while sons can do things on their own. Of course, you know, children, because of their age, cannot do many things for themselves. But as they grow, they begin to, we got to learn to teach them to do things, pray for themselves, you know, do things. There was a time my little boy, when he was very, he's no longer little, but when he was very much younger, I was watching him. He was trying to tie his shoelace. And he would try and do and do the thing. And he would say, oh, no. And then he would do it again. And he would say, oh, no, I'm not getting this thing. And then he would do it again. And I allowed him to exhaust his possibilities. And when I saw that I couldn't do it, and he himself saw that I couldn't do it, I walked up to him. I knelt down before him and I helped him to tie his shoelace. Hallelujah. But today I don't need to tie his shoelace for him. He can do it by himself. So children can hardly do anything for themselves or by themselves. You have to do it for them. But sons can take charge. As, they, as our children grow, they become more of an asset to us. You will not have cheap children that are bodies to you, but assets in the name of Jesus. Number three, Children cannot be trusted with serious work, responsibilities, while you can safely trust sons with responsibilities. If our sons are going to be outstanding, we must teach them to handle responsibilities, not pass the buck. Children cannot be trusted. I mean, there are things that we cannot give a 10-year-old child to do. But as that same child grows, hallelujah, However, let us understand that responsibility is not just about age, but about attitude. Outstanding sons are responsible sons. Number four, children are usually a concern to their parents, while sons are gifts. If you, if you have little children and you leave them at home, many times you, you can't, you are, you are hurrying to get back. You are trying to you know, get back home and because you are worried about them. Hallelujah. They are a concern to you. But as these same children grow, you can even travel and leave them. You know that they're going to be fine. They're going to be okay. Number five, you are a child by birth. Children are born, all right? But you become a son by choice. Children are born, but sons are made. You become, you know, responsibility is the price of greatness. And it is something that you decide. You decide. You decide. What am I trying to do with what I'm sharing with us today is that as we pray, let us help our children if the qualities outlined in Daniel chapter 1 verse 4 will be abundantly obvious in their lives, then we must teach them to take responsibility. Teach them to take responsibility. Teach them and, you know, make them to take responsibility. There's a limit to what parents can do for children. As they grow older, I, I, I tell my children, I will not be with you all the time. So you must be able to do this for yourself. Hallelujah. Children, you are a child by birth, but you become a son by choice. So let our children know that, you know, you know, J John chapter 1 verse 12. The Bible says, he came unto his own, but his own did not receive him. But for those who received him, to them he gave power to become the sons of God even those that believe in his name. He gave power. The word power, there's the word exousia, which means liberty to choose. Sonship is a choice. Jesus said, I have finished the work that you gave me. Jesus, Jesus chose. He chose to be responsible. Hallelujah. Another difference between children and sons is that children think more about physical, carnal things. Children are kana, carnally minded. They are, they, are, they, are, they are childish. They are physical. For example, I was praying my children this morning, you know, and, you know, we're praying it's a new month. So I told them, what do you want God to do for you this month? Don't tell me about it. Just talk to God. Pray for yourself. Take time out. Pray for yourself. God, my father, do this for me. And I told them, don't, don't limit it to what your parents can do. There are many things your parents cannot do. But God, to talk to the Lord. And my little baby that is six years old, she said, I want ice cream. I mean, that's what she wants God to do for her. 
Now, that's what children are like. The ones that are older do not ask for ice cream. Because when I told them, what do you want God to do for you this month? They know that ice cream is not. They can buy ice cream for themselves. Their parents can buy ice cream for them. Children are usually immature. All right? That was why the children of Israel, they were crying for food. The Bible says God made his ways known to Moses. Because of Moses' maturity, God was able to reveal things to him. Children are demanding. Sons are understanding. Many times children don't even care whether you have the money or not. But as they grow older and they become sons, they realize that daddy has to work. Mommy has to work. Money does not drop from heaven. Money does not grow on the tree outside our house. They become understanding. What am I saying? Let us teach our children. Let us encourage them to accept responsibility for their lives. Accept responsibility for their academics. Accept responsibility for their health. Accept responsibility for their, for their personal lives. They wake up, I mean, they, 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 they tidy their rooms, take care of their house. This is what, because it is from the house, charity begins at home. As they imbibe these things from the house, when they go out, we are going to be pleased with the feedback that we are going to get from them. We are going to be happy with the report. We are going to be happy with, with, <laughs> with the testimonies. I pray for you this day in the name of Jesus. My time is up. So that praying mom can ask me to come back again. Let me stop now. All right. But I want to pray for you, beloved people of God. I want to pray for every family under distress. Every family that has one challenge or the other. You have one problematic child or the other. You have one son or the other that is giving you problem. I pray for you in the name that is above every other name. Mercy will speak over that child. Let the mercy of God prevail in that situation. Let the mercy of God speak over that son. We, 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 we plead the blood of Jesus. By the blood of Jesus that was shed for him. We pray in the name of Jesus Christ. Let there be a turnaround. Let there be a turnaround. Let there be a turnaround. There are no hopeless cases with God. Every situation that seems hopeless. In the name of Jesus, let there be a turnaround. By the, by the praying mom meeting of May, there will be testimonies of turnaround. Every recalcitrant child, let, the, let his heart be touched by the Lord in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, we give you praise. We decree peace upon our sons. We decree peace upon our parents. We decree peace upon our homes. We decree peace upon our daughters. We declare that it shall be well with us. In the precious name of Jesus. Thank you for having me. Thank you, dear Pastor Tayo, beloved Apostle Victor. I appreciate you for this opportunity. Thank you very much in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you so much, man of God. God bless you. More grace and strength in the name of Jesus. Thank you for being a blessing to us. God bless you, sir. Thank you. We appreciate you. Amen. I don't want to, um, I'm, I'm going to call on the next speaker. Um, it's actually my husband, Apostle Victor Olumaki. I'm going to read a short bio. Hallelujah. Sorry, Obi. I'm going to read a short bio. He's an apostle to the nations, a servant of God. Um, apostle Victor is an author, a passionate preacher of the word of God. He has a special anointing in the apostolic and prophetic offices with insight and revelation of the word of God that ushers, mighty, that ushers God's mighty presence and power through prayers. He travels across the globe speaking at conferences and imparting local churches. He is the founder of the, of the of Prayer and Liberation Ministries, IPAM, of which the Praying Mom with PT is under. And IPAM, IPAM has just also birthed a, a, a church, Apostolic Revolution Church, and Apostle Victor is also the founder of this church. is based in Kent, United Kingdom. IPAM was born out of God's mandate to liberate people from ignorance and, bond and bondage in order for them to experience God's plan and purpose for their lives. Apostle Vitor is an electrical engineer with over 20 years experience in the marketplace. Uh, and Apostle Vitor is married to myself and we are blessed with two adult children. You're welcome to the Prayer Moment with PT. Over Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. 
We bless God for what uh, he has been doing through this um, powerful ministry, praying more with pity. You know, I just admire the, uh, the growth and the testimonies that come from, uh, from this ministry. God will continue to bless, 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 and expand this ministry in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. I'm so uh, I'm also excited, O oh Lord, to be ministering along uh, uh, my good friend, Reverend David Oladipo, uh, on this platform. Uh, Reverend David Oladipo, powerful message. He has taken all my notes. I don't know what uh, to teach next. You know, he has uh, copied my notes. I don't know how he's still, he, he has an insight to everything I'm going to talk about. So we're going to, uh, I'm not going to do teaching at this moment. So we're just going to allow the Holy Spirit to lead us. Hallelujah. And uh, pray prophetically. Because there are so many things we want to, um, uh, we know what the voice of God, uh, we know. And uh, when my wife told me about uh, um, this, uh, outstanding sons. I know that that's what God wants to do. The enemy has been um, um, affecting our generation or generation to come. You know, we need to have interest in what God has interest in. And God has interest in our sons, in our children. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. So we are going to be believing God for direction and how to pray and how to effect a change at this moment, I appreciate my wife for what she's doing, and I appreciate all the supports, you know, from various places. I celebrate all the mothers here, and I pray that God will continue to bless you, you know, and um, increase you, increase the anointing upon your life in the name of Jesus. Amen. Glory be to God. Outstanding sons, uh, I believe uh, um, Reverend David has done marvelous teaching on what um, we should be expect. And what is your expectation about uh, your son or your daughter, if you want to use it, because the Bible says, as many as are led by the Spirit of God, they shall be called the sons of God. But in this context, we just want to focus on the on the male child. And, um, and just, okay, we want to make sure that uh, we prophesy, we program the destiny of our son so that they can take their rightful place. Amen. Glory be to God. So I'm going to just look at two scriptures, you know, and we're going to pray. Two scriptures. And we're going to believe God for uh, uh, for a direction to pray. Amen. So I want us to look at, um, first of all, uh, Reverend David mentioned this, and uh, but I have a scripture to back it up. And um, Galatians chapter 4, Galatians chapter 4. I'm going to be reading from the um, Amplified uh, Version. I will start from verse 1. You know, there is a spirit called arrested development. He doesn't want our son to take their place, to be outstanding. And we're going to be coming against that uh, forces from the pit of darkness. He said, what now, what I mean is that as long as the inheritor the ear is a child, an underage. It does not differ from a slave. Can you see that? There are so many, you know, according to the um, the teaching we had, there are so many people that should be taking their place. There are so many sons, uh, many child that should have been in this, uh, uh, move into the next uh, level of life. You know, but they are still underage. And the scripture makes us known as long as the inheritor, the ear is a child and underage, it does not differ from a slave. Uh, I want you to pray right now. We're going to be praying along. Let's turn it into prayer. Hallelujah. And say, every yoke of slavery, O oh Lord, upon my son, upon my child, I break it in the name of Jesus. I command them. I want you to begin to pray right now. Malikatoria, because when we are going to teaching, we may not have time to pray. I want you to turn it in the name of Jesus. Malikatoria, it's now high time, oh Lord, 
for my son um, to move into the next level of life, um, to move into the next stage um, of spiritual development, um, of spiritual growth. Um, in the name of Jesus, um, I want you to begin to release the anointing in the name of Jesus, um, to break the yoke of slavery in the name of Jesus. Um, Lebrosketoria, Malabrosketoria. Father, in the name of Jesus, um, I decree and I declare yoke of bondage is destroyed in the name of Jesus. Malabrosketoria, um, every spirit, oh Lord, um, of arrested development um, that will not make my son to be outstanding in the name of Jesus. Um, I come against you. I come against you. Pray more, begin to pray. Pray more, begin to pray. Begin to intercede um, in the name of Jesus. Um, Lebrosketoria, Malabrosketoria, Malabrosketoria. Connect your own Lord, your Son, O oh Lord, with the power of God um, in the name of Jesus. Um, hallelujah. Amen. And the Bible says it does not differ. Can you see that? You know, you know, when your son is um, you know, is uh, compared to a slave, he will not enter into his inheritance. Hallelujah. The Bible says, although he is the master of all the estates. But he has not come into that level. There are, there are various, various stages of her life. Number one, we're going to look at that. Number one is the seeker level, is the dead level. You know, he doesn't know. He just is still roaming around. He just seeking where well, I don't know my identity. I don't know what uh, you know. I don't know what God has planned. The plan that God has for me, at the age of 15, 16, your son is still expecting you, you know, or to to bath to to come and brush uh, his or his teeth. Uh, hallelujah! To bath for him is not the will of God. You pray against it. Uh, that development has been arrested. And the Bible says, although he is the master of all the estates, verse two, but he is under guidance administrators and the trustees until the day fixed by his father. Until the day, there is a day appointed time for us to enter into sonship, for us to enter into maturity. If there is an appointed time for your son or your sons to enter into their inheritance, there is a reserve of wealth, of glory, of the anointing, of power that is reserved for your sons. Hallelujah. And you need to claim it. You need to claim it. You need to claim it. Begin to decree right now. My son will not pass all oh Lord the day fix him. Let me tell you, the Bible says was talking in um, no, no the plan, it was talking about Jeremiah, Jeremiah chapter 29, verse 11. But before verse 11, they were in bondage for 70 years. Nobody you know, could, could break the chain of that bondage until Jeremiah come into knowledge and they discover there is a purpose. There is a purpose. There is a purpose. The purpose of God is to be free after 70 years of bondage. But there is a knowledge. Revelation has to come. And we pray by revelation. And I believe, oh Lord, then, that this is the time for your son, for your daughter to begin to enter into their inheritance. Um, Bible say lines are falling onto me in pleasant places. Um, yet I have a good uh, inheritance. Um, I begin to pray, begin to declare, today is an appointed time. Today is the day of salvation. Today is the day of liberation. For my son, open your mouth and begin to pray. Come on, let's pray in the Holy Ghost. My son will not remain on the seeker level in the name 
of Jesus, um, become, begin to pray, begin to pray, begin to pray. Malabroshika, Malibroshikuria, in the name of Jesus. Yeah, in the name of Jesus. Yeah. The power of God will break every yoke of the enemy in the name of Jesus. Um, you know, we become worried when you have a child and your child is supposed to be crawling. Uh, it's not crawling. It's supposed to be walking. It's not walking. It's supposed to be speaking. It's not speaking. It's not. You can't hear any voice. You become worried. You say, "What is happening? What is happening? What is happening? When will my son enter your Lord into his inheritance?" And the Bible says in verse three, we are praying. The prophet in verse three. So we Jewish Christian also, when we were minor. We reject minor. Hallelujah. We reject to be minor in the name of Jesus. We are kept like slaves under rules of Hebrew ritual and subject to the elementary teaching of the system of the internal observation and, re and regulation. That is the limitation you need to pray about. You need, if you want your son to be outstanding, if you want your son to be ex a, a, an example, if you want your son to be extraordinary, if you want your son to break every record in life, you need to pray against limitation that has been placed upon them. And you have just pray against, and we're going to lift up our voice. We are break, we have breaker anointing here. Hallelujah. We Bible say in the book of Jeremiah, chapter five, verse fifty-one, chapter fifty-one, verse twenty, he said, "You are my battle axe. You are my weapon of warfare. With you, I will break. I want you to begin to break every embargo." Begin to break every limitation that has been placed upon your child, that has been placed upon every son. And, oh Lord, that is represented by mother here. Begin to pray. I break every embargo. I break every system. And, oh Lord, that is limiting my son and my daughter. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Lebrosketoria, mapatori brosha, ilabrosketoria. Break, break, break every limitation. Break every limitation. Break every limitation. Break every limitation in the name of Jesus. Break every limitation. Malabroshakoria. Makori broshakoria. Lekatori broshakoria. Malabroshakori broshaka. In the name of Jesus. Lekatori brosha. Makori broshakoria. Makori broshakoria. In the name of Jesus. Begin to ask the Lord. Lord, let the stone be rolled away. Let the stone be rolled away. Let the stone of limitation be rolled away. In the name of Jesus, um, by the resurrection power of God, um, in the name of Jesus, um, let this stone be rolled away. I ask you, O oh Lord, um, Malabro Shekoria, to place the axe um, to the root, O oh Lord, um, of arrested development, um, in the name of Jesus, um, Mankoria Tan, and cut all the supply lines, um, O oh Lord, from the pit of hell. Um, Cut off, O oh Lord, every ounce of the enemy upon our son in the name of Jesus. Malakatoria, Malabroshekoria, open your mouth and begin to pray. Malakatoria, begin to declare, My son shall be an outstanding son in the name of Jesus. Begin to call them by name. Begin to call them by name. I decree, my son carries Olumake with the understanding in the name of Jesus. Ubikatorian, Malaka, no blemish on his destiny in the name of Jesus. Mankoria Tam, there is no enchantment against him. There is no divination against him in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth, no limitation. No limitation. Man Koribro Shakuria. Man Kalibro Shakuria. Man Libro Shakuria. My son will believe God. He will believe God. He will move, O oh Lord, from being a seeker to the next level of life to become a believer in the name of Jesus. Sir. He will believe God. He will know God. Hallelujah. 
you just say to my son, I think my son will not dead spiritually in the name of Jesus. Sir. Hallelujah. You know, let's 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 continue. Glory be to God. Verse 4. But when the proper time had fully come, proper time, this is the proper time. God sent his son, born of the woman, born subject to regulation of the law, of the law, to possess freedom of to ransom, to redeem, to atone for those who are subject to the law. The purpose of God sending Jesus is to make your son to become a law outstanding. He, told, he purchased it, the freedom, the freedom, the freedom of our son to become an outstanding. He purchased it by, the, by his own blood. Hallelujah. I want you to begin to declare. Malika Tori Brosha Koriata. The power of God is resting upon your children. You know, let me tell you one thing. I was watching the movies with um, my wife, and we discovered, you know, one man, elderly man, grown up, had children, had family, and he was, you know, he was battling old love with secret sin, with pornography, you know, with masturbation, with all these things. He said, when did you acquire this? He said, when I was a child. Why? His progress. The enemy was waiting. I don't know what your children has acquired. The enemy has planted into their life. You can uproot it in the name of Jesus. Some people is bad company. The Bible said, do not be deceived. Evil communication corrupts good manner. You can set them free from bad companies. Some people is drugs. You can pray every embargo place upon them. Bible say when the time was fully come, Jesus, God sent his son. Jesus came. And the Bible says in the book of 1 John chapter 3, verse 8, for this purpose, the Son of Man manifests. Hallelujah. For this purpose, the, for this purpose, every embargo that has been placed upon my son. Hallelujah. Jesus has paid the price. Eh? Jesus has paid the price. Eh? Come on, begin to pray. Begin to pray. Let the light of my son begin to shine eh? in the name of Jesus. Eh? Any attribute, eh? quality, eh? all those skills, eh? knowledge embedded in them, eh? potentials. Eh? Let them begin to have expression. Eh? Open your mouth and begin to pray. Let them begin to have expression. Eh? Malabro Shekoria. This is the time of freedom. Eh? Malkoria Ta. Malibro Shaka. To purchase freedom from. To ransom them. To redeem them. I pray for the redemption. Eh? Malabro Shekoria. For an atonement. Eh? In the name of Jesus. Eh? Malkoribro Shaka. Let the son should be confined eh? upon them. Eh? Upon my sons. Eh? Upon Oh, my sons, um, Bible say in the book of the old Lord, Isaiah chapter 8, verse 18, I and the children that the Lord has given unto me, we are for signs and wonders. Um, open your mouth and begin to pray. Pray more, pray with me. Pray in that, pray with me. Let's join forces together. Malabrosh Ketoria, Malabrosh Ketoria, Malabrosh Ketoria, Malkoribrosh Shakam, Malkoribrosh Shakoria, Malkoribrosh Shakoria, Malkoribrosh Katoria, Malabrosh Ketoria, Malkoribrosh Shakam, Malkoribrosh Shakoria, in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Verse 6. Look at what it says in verse 6. And the Bible says, and because you are truly his sons. We are our sons, they are genuine because they are connected to God. God has sent his Holy Spirit of his son into their heart. You need to send the Holy Spirit. We don't have time to, I don't have time to teach. That's why I went into prayer directly. If we are teaching, it will, it will, you know, it will take away everything we need to connect to tonight. The Bible says you have to pray. In the book of Acts, chapter 2, verse 17, it said, the Spirit of God, will, I will pour out my Spirit 
upon your sons and your daughter. And they go, I will pour out my spirit eh, until the spirit of God take over. The oh Lord, they will continue to struggle. And the Bible says, they will come into their hearts. Eh, we will pray, you are going to pray, Lord, eh, hallelujah. We are praying as an intercessor because, oh Lord, you are released. So oh God sent his Holy Spirit eh, of his son into our hearts. Eh. Lord, send, oh Lord, eh, send the Holy Spirit eh, into the heart of my son so that I can cry to you, so that he can know you, so that he can connect with you and your anointing. I want you to begin to pray. God, send the Holy Spirit eh, into the heart. Eh, of every son, um, oh Lord, that are presented here by their mother in the name of Jesus, um, to none, um, in the name of Jesus, um, open your mouth and begin to pray. Let's begin to pray. Lord, um, send your Holy Spirit them to seal them, the sonship. Um, oh Lord, pray as um, let my old oh Lord, um, son and my do oh Lord, uh, my daughter connect them um, in the name of Jesus. Mankori bro, igatori atam, mankali broshka, mankori broshka, le katori broshka, le broshikoria, mankori broshka, mankori broshka. In the name of Jesus, um, and verse seven. Verse 7, this is powerful. You need to see the development of your son. Hallelujah. And then I'll say, I love this. Sam. Verse 7, he said, therefore, you are no longer a slave, a born servant. A status, you are now become an outstanding. You are no longer but a son. If a son, then it follows that you are here. Oh Lord, by the aid of God through Christ. You see, no longer they have become an understanding. The spirit of excellence eh, is in manifestation. The spirit of glory, the spirit of power, the spirit of authority is, on, is in manifestation in the name of Jesus. Eh, they're becoming a the leader that God has designed them to be. Begin to pray. Begin to pray. Malabro Sheka. My son is no longer a slave. My son is no longer a bond servant. Malabro Sheka. But an outstanding. Begin to prophesy. Outstanding. 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 In the name of Jesus. Outstanding. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Outstanding. Malabresketoria, Mankori Broshka, Mankori Broskita, Malabroskita, Malibroskitoria, outstanding, outstanding in the name of Jesus, Lekatoria, Mankori Brosha, Igatori Brosketoria, Malabroskitoria, Mankori Brosha Korea, Mankori Brosha Korea, Mankori Brosha, Mankori Broskatoria, Mankori Broskata, Mankari Brosha Kor, Mankori Broskete, Mankori Broska, La Broska Toria, Mankori Broske, Le Broska Toria, Mankori Broska, in the name of Jesus, outstanding, they will begin to shine. They will begin to reflect the glory of God. This is a prophetic word God gave to me while preparing. In the book of Zechariah, chapter 9, verse 16. Zechariah chapter 9, verse 16. <laughs> Hallelujah. The Bible says, and the Lord their God will save them. Every, every son that has been handicapped, that have been, oh Lord, put in, God said, oh Lord, I'm going to save them on that day as the flock of his people. They said, they shall be as the precious jewels of a crown lifted high over. They shall be, they shall be. They shall be, they shall be. This is prophetic. This is what your son will become. It will become, oh Lord, high flyer, influential, outstanding, extraordinary. Hallelujah. He said, he said, and the Lord, he said, and the Lord their God will save them. And on that day, as the flock of his people, 
for they shall be as the precious jewels of a crown lifted, lifted, not below, not a big, lifted eye over, lifted eye over, and shining glittering upon his hand, upon his land, upon wherever they are. They will be shining, God, Lord, example in the name of Jesus. They will be outstanding. They will stand out in the name of Jesus. I want you to begin to pray and declare, O oh Lord, my son, O oh Lord, is a jewel of a crown lifted eye over shining glittering eh, upon the earth eh, in the name of Jesus. Eh, God will make my son eh, to thrive in life eh, in the name of Jesus. Eh, they will become unstoppable in the name of Jesus. Eh, they are molded for results. Eh, they are molded for results. Eh, destined for greatness. Eh, destined for greatness eh, in the name of Jesus. Eh, outstanding Outstanding in the name of Jesus. La broske toria tang. Man kori brosha koria. Man kori brosha iga toria. Man la broshe koria. Man kori brosha ka. Man kori brosha. Man kori brosha ka. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Outstanding. 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 Outstanding in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Lastly. Hallelujah. We, we, we are praying. I can't even teach anymore. <laughs> Reverend David has made it easy. He has taught everything. So we just need to begin to prophesy. In Zechariah again, Zechariah chapter 8, verse 13. Hallelujah. Zechariah chapter 8, verse 13. I'm reading the, the, the New Living Translation. This, what, this is a prophetic word over your son. The Bible says, among the other nations, your son carries, carries, and <laughs> Jesus Pharaoh me. We become, we become, we become, we become a source of blessing and a source of a symbol and a source of blessing. You need to declare it. This is what it says. Among the nation, Judah, Israel became a symbol of a cursed nation. But no longer, but no longer, no longer, every embargo cause placed upon your child, placed upon your son, is being removed by the virtue, O oh Lord, of Jesus. And his blood came, O oh Lord, into the sin. He said, no longer. Now I will rescue your son. I will make you both a symbol. Somebody say, my son is a symbol. And when you say something is a symbol, it's an outstanding, it's an example. It's a symbol and a source of blessing. So don't be afraid. Be strong and get on with rebuilding of the temple. Somebody declare, my son will be a symbol and a source of blessing. Will be a symbol and a source of blessing. Come and begin to pray. La broske tori broska ta, le broske tori broska ka, ma tori broske ka to, ma kali broske tori broska to, ma le broske tori broske toria, ma talia, ma kuria ta, ma le broska toria. I decree favor, I decree favor. Let the spirit of excellence rest upon my son in the name of Jesus. Glory be to God in the name of Jesus. Outstanding leader in the society, in the name of Jesus. Outstanding leader. The spirit of leadership is coming upon your son. He's not a seeker anymore. Not the one that doesn't know where he's going. He will move from being a seeker to a believer, from a believer to be a learner and to be a server. He will begin to serve in, the, in this generation. Hallelujah. That is all embedded in the book of Daniel, chapter 1, verse 4. Yeah, that's what Daniel became. He started, they started from being a seeker and they begin to know their God. And that's what Daniel could tell us in the book of Daniel 11, verse 32. He said, They that know their God, they shall be strong and be outstanding. They will do exploit. He became a leader that was doing exploit. And I prophesied to somebody today 
your son will no longer be a slave. In the name of Jesus, your son will overtake all his contem contemporary. The Bible says in the book of Hebrews, chapter 1, verse 9, nine the Bible says, because you love righteousness and you hate iniquity, the Lord your God will anoint you. I pray let the anointing rest upon your son, your daughter right now, above their contemporary. They shall be outstanding in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Glory be to God. God bless you. God increase you. What a wonderful time of fellowship with you. God bless you. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you so much, Apostle Victor. More grace and strength upon you in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. We're going to have the announcement, please. Um, we have like five minutes, so we're going to have the announcement. And then um, pray mom. Abby is going to be taking the announcement. I'll have that to the spotlight. God bless you. Over to you, pray mom, Abby. Amen. Thank you. What an awesome time we've had. What an awesome time. Happy New Month again, everyone. Um, thank you to Reverend David Oladipo of Success International Church, um, Lagos, Nigeria, and to our own founder of IPAM, Apostle Victor Ulumaki. Thank you for being a blessing to us this evening. Thank you. We welcome the first time as to pray, Mom, with PT, where we build the destiny of our children in the place of prayers. We want you to stay in touch. Uh, please complete the one to two minutes form on Google. I believe the link is posted in the Zoom chat. And um, please do so. The pray mom with Pete in next meeting is on the 1st of May at 7 p.m. UK time. And it will be on Zoom as well. And this time we will be praying for the girl child, the girl child. The Pray Mom with PT has WhatsApp groups and Telegram groups. And these groups have people from different nations. And our common goal is to pray for our children. So you can join our WhatsApp group. And again, the link is in the uh, posted in the chat room. PT posts the 8 to Z 10 to 15 minutes prayer podcast Monday to Friday, um, 5 a.m. UK time. And this is to guide moms in praying for their children and grandchildren. For more information, you can contact uh, PT, um, email the praying mom, which is d at gmail.com. Or you can private chat any one of the co hosts um, so they can add your mobile right now. And we need help in the following team the transcribe team, admin uh, publicity team. To join any of the teams, please send us an email again on the same email I've read, dpraymom at gmail.com or send any of the co-hosts a private message now. The Pray Mom with PT will have our first weekend retreat on Friday, 7 June um, to Saturday, 8th of June, 2024. It will be a time for mom to relax and talk about parenting, games, and prayers. It will be in the UK. And some of the topics we will be discussing are educational system, mental health, examinations, sex, boyfriend and girlfriend, family altar, police troubles, menopause, discipline and correction or sanctions, raising a child as a single mom, handling teenage years, raising children with special needs and more. So if you are interested in the retreat, please join a WhatsApp link for the retreat posted in the group now. And if you're already in the retreat WhatsApp group and you haven't registered uh, or paid your deposits, can you do so as we are, we need it to plan effectively. Thank you. IPAM has planted a new church called the Apostolic Revolution Church in Chatham, Kent. PT is the residing pastor. So if you are not committed to any church or you have family and friends who are not, you're welcome to worship with us every Sunday at 10.30 a.m. For more information, please contact the church on this number, plus 447562903753. Join us every Monday at 5 a.m. UK time with Apostle Victor Lumaki for morning recharge on Zoom. 
that's an awesome awesome time please do join and follow us on facebook and instagram um, on the handle the Prayer with pt subscribe to the youtube channel um ipower ministry as well god bless you all bless you God bless you. Thank you. Pray more. Happy. God bless you. More grace and strength upon you in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Like Pray Mom Habi announced, we're going to have our first retreat on in June 7th to 9th of June. Some people are in that group on the WhatsApp group and you have not registered. Neither have you made payment. Please do register and make payment. Pay your deposit so that we can plan effectively because June is just near the corner. And we need to contact um, the hotel that we're going to be lodging at. Please do make payments and also register. God bless you as you do so. Hallelujah. Amen. We have come to, to the end of this month's meeting. Thank you to our dear dads, especially that joined us. Some men joined us today. Thank you. I could see Reverend Nick that was online. And I saw some men as well on online. Thank you so much for joining us, the men. And some grandmas online as well. My mom, Grandma Lajibike Akisu, thank you for praying for me as I'm praying for my children. Hallelujah. It's good when we have grandmothers online. Hallelujah. Grandmother Tony Ajala, I don't know if she's online. She also joins as well. Hallelujah. God bless you. Thank you. Every praying mom, you are important. Praying that you are important. Thank you. And special thanks to Apostle Victor and Reverend David for being a blessing to us. It's very rare that we have that minister to us and I, and if you agree with me tonight has, has been a special night hallelujah and next month next month is going to be prayer for the girl child prayer for the girl child and by grace of by the grace of god is going to be powerful in jesus mighty name thank you so much everyone and those people joining on youtube as well you are not left out thank you for being part of this meeting i pray that god will continue to bless you in the name of jesus the lord will protect you not just you you and your household in the name of jesus the lord will smile on you smile on your children and be gracious to you in the name of jesus the lord will show you his favor and give you peace nothing missing in your life nothing broken in the name of jesus this month of april will be a special month for you and your household there will be increase on every side in the name of Jesus. The Lord will build a hedge of protection over you and your household. In the name of Jesus. There shall be no accident on your way this month and beyond. In the name of Jesus. God will protect your children as they go out and come in. In the name of Jesus. Father, we bless you. We give you praise and glory. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. If you're not part of the WhatsApp group, the link have been posted. I believe group eight link have been posted in the chat group you can click if you click on that link it will take you straight to group eight hallelujah and if you want to join the retreat whatsapp group the link have been posted click on the link it will take you there hallelujah thank you pray mom yeah, see. god bless you hallelujah click on the link it will take you there and if you're new as well the first time i please fill in the one to two minutes um google form so that we can be in touch with you god bless you shalom bye for now have a fantastic month god bless you bye